today I'm going to show you how to create a blog on ClickFunnels using Dropin Blog. A quick note before we get started, ClickFunnels primary function is as a funnel and landing page builder. So building a multi-page website in ClickFunnels requires a few more steps than with a traditional website builder, but it can be done and I will show you how right now. Once you're on the back end of ClickFunnels, go ahead and click Funnels on the top menu under ClickFunnels. And once that loads, we will want to select the page or website that you would like to add your blog to. In order for our blog page to have the same header, footer, and design as the rest of our website, we're going to clone one of the pages. I'm going to clone our home page, but you can choose any page that you would like. I have home selected on the left hand side, and then I'm going to scroll down and select clone funnel step on the bottom right hand corner. Perfect. Once that loads, scroll down again and select add to funnel. Great. Now that has been cloned, we need to go up to publishing in the right hand corner and select that. And we're going to update the page name and the file path with a name that correlates to what we're adding. So I'm just going to go ahead and name the funnel step blog and the path should relate to that. So I'll do a lowercase blog and then select update funnel step. Perfect. Now I'll go ahead and select the yellow button that says edit page. And once this loads, we're going to get rid of anything on this cloned page that we don't want to show up on our blog page. So once you're up here and it's loaded, we can go ahead and delete the various sections and rows that you don't need on your blog. So once we hover all the way to the right, we can see a box pops up with a delete option. So I'll go ahead and delete this section. And I'm going to do that to any section that I don't need on our blog. And then I'll delete these two rows. Perfect. I recommend leaving a white row or background because drop and blog does look the best on a white or light colored background. So that's why I just left this white row right here. Once you have your page cleaned up to your liking, go ahead and add a new row. So we will select rows at the top and then add row and then select one column and drag and drop to that white space. Perfect. Once that's added, you can hover over it and select add new element and then scroll all the way down. And at the bottom, you'll select custom HTML, drag and drop that to the same row. Then we'll have this box appear. We can go ahead and select custom JavaScript or HTML. Once you click that, you'll get a pop up on the right hand side and we'll select open code editor, which is the big blue button. Once this pops up, we can go ahead and add in our HTML. So we want to now go over to drop and blog, which I already have open on another tab and under code and layout on the top menu, you'll scroll down and select step one's code, copy that, go back over to click funnels, paste it in, Go back to drop and blog and copy step two's code. Go back to click funnels, hit enter and paste step two's code in. And then we can simply click out of this box. It will automatically update, but we do need to go to the top right hand corner and select save. Perfect. And when saving a new page for the first time, ClickFunnels will prompt you to fill out the page's metadata. You should fill this out with information relating to your website. I'm going to go ahead and just call this example website 
blog. Perfect. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and click out of this again and then select save at the top right hand corner again. Perfect. Once you've clicked save again, you should see a pop-up appear on the bottom right hand corner saying that it is updating. Once the page has been saved, we can now find the page URL. So what we do for that is go up to the top left hand corner and select exit. And you'll see our new URL right here. We'll go ahead and copy that. Go back over to drop in blog and head to settings under the top menu and then paste in the new URL under blog URL. Scroll down and hit save all changes. Perfect. Once that's saved, let's head back over to ClickFunnels. And then under my new cloned page, I'm going to go ahead and select preview page next to edit page. And we can see we have successfully integrated our blog from drop and blog and added it to our ClickFunnels site. That looks perfect. It's on a nice white light colored background. We can easily read it. Everything looks great. So this is how you quickly add a blog or create a blog on ClickFunnels using drop and blog. Happy blogging.